One Piece Nation here today to bring you my review of episode one of Boruto. Now I want to make one thing perfectly clear here. I am meant to do, to do a live reaction. I'm going to be live reacting to all of these in the future. It would have to be a quite simple problem. Um, I recorded a reaction via my camera and webcam and recording equipment instead of, you know, streaming it like I normally would, and it didn't fully record. It stopped recording like 13 minutes in. So, yeah, I had to scrap it. So, yeah, I'll record a reaction again next week. But, yeah, so my thoughts on this week's episode of Boruto. Um, I'll be honest, I would, it was very chill. It was definitely not as hooking as the first episode of Naruto. The first episode of Naruto, it was pretty much the opposite of it. It was very let back, a go lucky, happy going, chill episode. Naruto's first episode, in contrast, was very, was kind of depressed, was really funny and humorous and showed all the great things about the theory. But it was also very depressing, introducing us to the struggle of Naruto. And with this, it's a lot more basic. We don't see Boruto, like, break down crying about his relationship with his father. In fact, the only real hint we get at that being a major conflict is that he complains about Naruto a lot. He complains about Naruto. Con he, he, he pretty much said, screw my father. Who cares about my father? My father's a dumbass. I don't care about my father's opinion. He even said that Naruto doesn't punish him. Now, I'd like to say quickly on my thoughts on the opening, because of course you didn't see my reaction, I'm really, really good opening. My favorite shot, hands down, is the shot where you see Naruto walking up and you see all the pet, all, all the old cast members that are going to be relevant. Um, yeah, um, I wish we could have seen some. I wish we could have seen Sasuke and Sakura in this. I'm a little, at least. We, I mean, I kind of understand not seeing Sasuke. He's not in Konoha at the moment, but Sakura's their out of mother. That I wish. I wish we could have gotten more of the Uchiha clan in general. But I'm assuming what they're doing is they're probably gonna do what Naruto did, and they're like doing an episode dedicated to Boruto, and then we're going to be introduced to, to, to Miki and Serana, who are the two other main characters, of course, in their Boruto teammate. Now, um, I did really like the opening. I also really like the character shot with all the characters showing off their ability. I will say, these characters are definitely more skilled than the previous generation at their age. I'm not saying I think they have more potential. I'm just saying they've clearly been very well trained. Even just looking at Narada, like, she does things in that opening, and the manga, and the Boruto movie, and she should not be able to do at her age. She is doing things, like, her parents have clearly set aside a tremendous amount of their free time to make the cake really damn strong. Because they're really impressive. But, I mean, Boruto is, like, definitely more, more skilled than uh, Naruto. Now, we met this kid, Deki, 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 I don't know, his name is Deki. Um, he, he's like, he doesn't like, doesn't, at the beginning of the episode, he doesn't like ninjutsu. He wants to be like, he wants to study, but he has academics, but he has no interest in ninjutsu. And then by the end, he gets taken over by the evil snake thing. When, by the way, I'll, be, I, I, I'll put money, I will if I have money, I'll put money down on the table that was Arushi and this is in some way tied to Arushi Maru. Now, I will talk about the beginning, I'm just saving that for later. But, um, yeah, so we do see the thing with Boruto's eye, which definitely ties into the song with Kawaki, with... I don't know if this is what's happening right now tied into the stuff with the eye, or maybe... That's no I would ever think. That's no type of doujitsu that is known in Naruto. So, I don't know what it is. I have no idea, but, so we see that, and, uh, there isn't a ton else that we see that is relatively important. We see a lot of things introducing the cast, under entering the academy, but 
I'll admit I'm kind of interested. I've always been somewhat interested in what the Academy is like. I've always found it to be a very interesting concept. I mean, it's a school where young children go to and learn how to become trained killers. But they don't become, like, mentally messed up. But look at Team 7. I mean, look at Naruto and Sakura on Team 7. Like, they're perfectly... Well, like, so Naruto and Sakura were, per, like, were, like, perfectly normal mentally. Like, how Sakura was a sex with a guy. Sakura's whole character arc in Part 1 was pretty much based around her obsessing with a boy. I mean, you would think people that went to a school... Where, where, where they where they were trained to kill people from age like seven w would be more mentally disturbed, but no, like they're very normal for their ages. So I've always found the content of the academy very interesting. So I'm very very excited to see that. They're gonna stay off the bat the music. I do miss the Shippuden and Part One music. I miss it. I hope they don't get rid of it completely. I know we. Yeah, Putin, sometimes they would use old Naruto Part 1 tracks. I hope they keep around them in the Part 1 and Part 2 tracks, because they have some really good soundtracks in there. And that is beside the point. It's still really good content. Um, I'm really excited for the rest of Boruto. Um, there isn't much else. We see the other characters. At the end, there is this... I mean, you do see... You don't see much of Naruto, which is kind of sad, because... It's just, it's where it's like, you're kind of hoping throughout the episode, give us some class, give us some, give, let us see of a Naruto we g grew up with. Let us see that Naruto. We don't see it. We, we don't. Like, we see this very adult. I know we're going to get some of it. Like, in the Boruto movie, we got small glimpses. Like, when Boruto won his match and Naruto threw his hands up in the air, I was like, yeah! <coughs> So I know we're going to get small glimpses of the Naruto we grew up with, but it is very much going to be the Hokage. He's very much going to be like the Lunade or the Haruzen. So he'll be around. It will be the same with Saka and Sa Saka will probably be like an Asuma and, and like an Asuma and uh, Kikaku will be like a Kakashi. Like they'll be there, but they won't go uh, Jiraiya. And they'll be like Duraya, Dunades, Harus, and Saratobi. They won't be there, but they will be there. And when they are there, they'll always be really good. And we'll always have fun watching them. But, yeah, not as much as I would have liked. Um, the thing where Naruto's looking all serious, but more so just... Uh, that's just him. Like, that's just the Naruto we had to get used to. It's a very serious, stern guy. So, now we know that... We, when we see Naruto serious, it's not a big deal. But if we see him angry, then nothing going on. But um, yeah, I, I did enjoy Boruto in it. I will admit I'm not the biggest fan of Boruto. I'm very excited to get to know the other characters. Me and Boruto is definitely, normally, uh, Naruto is my favorite character in the original series. Um, Boruto is definitely not my favorite in it. I like Dorada a lot, a lot more than I like him. So I'm excited to see more of her. Um, I'm excited to see the way, like, the way they handle this. Like, are they going to adapt Gaiden? Because this is Boruto, and Boruto is rarely in Gaiden. I, but then again, there were parts of Naruto, there were, like, mini-arcs that are focused entirely on other characters sometimes. Like, flashback arcs and stuff like that. So, could we get, like, the Sarada Uchiha finding Sasuke arc? Like, will that happen? If you haven't read Naruto Gaiden, even if you're not a big manga reader, go read it. They're, they're just a 10 normal length chapter, definitely worth reading. But yeah, that's about it. I mean, the time for, of course, the beginning, which I'll talk about now. We get to see the animated version of Boruto and Kawaki. Konoha is destroyed, and Kawaki, of course, mentioned that Naruto is dead. Or is gone. He doesn't say Naruto is dead, he says, Bro, I'll send you to the same place as the seven. I'm not sure what that means. That means that implies death, but it doesn't guarantee death. But that is about all I have to say on that. Like there isn't much. Boruto and him had these like seals all over their bodies, and he, when he clenches his fist, the seal like glows. I'm not sure what they are. They're unlike anything we've ever seen before. Um. They're very strange, um, like, 
we know nothing about them, but that's about all I have to say on that note. So yeah, Boruto, um, I'm not going to rate this episode. It's the first episode, and honestly, overall, it was kind of meh. It was, I have a feeling we're going to get a lot of Zerdy Academy episodes, a lot of episodic stuff, like maybe not an overarching story. Like, I just, I don't see an overarching story. I see a later, a further down the road overarching story, but at the moment, I'm feeling things are going to be pretty episodic, which is unfortunate, because that Naruto's biggest strong suit was always that it was never episodic. It's, it's a shouting, long-running theory. It always had an ongoing narrative. But that's besides the point. I don't mind some episodic slice of life Naruto as long as we get to see some of the old cast as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like. Be sure to look out for my Boruto live reactions and reviews every week. And tell me, do you want me to make a Boruto playlist? Or just put these all in the Naruto playlist? I'm thinking of just putting them under the Naruto playlist. If Boruto is still technically Naruto material. It's just under the name Boruto. I, I just want to make that clear. Boruto, I'm going to treat it as I would if I were doing an episode of Naruto Shippuden. I know it's about Boruto, but that's the only difference, and I'll treat it as such. I still hold it to be that same standard. So again, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like. Tell me your thoughts on Boruto in the comments. I'm very interested. I haven't seen many people's opinions. There are not too many reviews up. I've seen for Neverworld, and I've seen a couple people on Twitter talk about it, but yeah. Go check out for Neverworld review. If you're watching this, you haven't seen his, I don't know why you would have, but you haven't, go check his out. Um, yeah, Boruto, really good. Also, up, update on my reviews and live reaction. Good news is I have a half day on school. I was actually up all night because I was sick, because of my cough, but uh, I've had like problems lately, medical health problems. Long story, not getting into it, but I was up all night so I didn't go to school. That's not the point. The point is, is that um, normally I have half days on Wednesdays at school every every week. So my reviews and my live reactions will definitely be out all the time on Wednesdays at are as convenient and early as possible. Sometimes I'll do the live reaction before school, sometimes after. We hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you did. Subscribe for more videos. Tell me your thoughts on Boruto in the comments. And above all else, guys, have a great day. And do one thing thing. The One Piece Nation signing out. Believe it. Or what did Boruto say? Tate Boss. I don't know. What did Boruto cast Ray? Tell me in the comments. That that outro stuck. I'm just gonna turn off the camera the way I embarrass myself on the on the internet even more. Bye.